Hello collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random reading right? Um, somebody wants a new beginning at the split. Uh, missed out on an opportunity. They're feeling all kinds of pouty over it. They want this new beginning. They missed out I feel like on a very abundant new beginning. Okay. Um, anyway this reading um, it may or may not resonate with you. Toss out what doesn't resonate. And thank you guys so, so much for your likes, subscribes. Yeah, look, they missed out on you. For your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, see, see, they missed out on a blessing in love. We're just going to split it. They missed out on a blessing in love. Some, uh, I feel like it's a masculine energy. Um, could have been a third-party situation. They chose someone over you. And current energy is they're, they're being taught a lesson. I feel like they can clearly see um, the person that they missed out on, this blessing in love. And I feel like this person's being called uh, to action, really. They're, they're being told to get up right and grab this cup of love this blessing here um yeah that they walked away from see yeah look they walked away from oh my gosh they walked away from you possibly said something that they didn't want to say um or um I, said something they regret i feel okay they could have been very harsh cold communication with you and now I feel like they want to make amends now this person wants to come towards you and offer you a pinnacle but you're not even focused on them anymore I feel like you left this person behind you in the last cycle stuff and you're entering into a new cycle that's going to be very abundant all this green around you that's money see they walked away from an abundant new beginning with the world here I feel like you are in the public eye and you're having a glow up. And now this person, I feel like they're in regret. They're sitting here thinking about the lessons they're learning. I feel like an anger off of this person. Almost like a this is unfair kind of thing. All they can do is think about you. Yeah, because this person wants control. I feel like this person still has a bit of their ego. Okay because they're sitting here pouting like the world isn't fair to them but this was a choice that they made they chose poorly here something that didn't work out and they missed out on a blessing maybe even some someone that they prayed for you know they could have prayed for this blessing the divine brought it in here you go and they walked away from it and now they're realizing that you you were freaking everything. You were everything. And they, they missed out on this fabulous, awesome new beginning with you. Um, and now they can't stop thinking about you. Six of Cups. I feel like they're still in their emotions here. They're still um, in their ego. I feel like this person's kind of, um, they don't want to let go of their ego, but they, they want to reach out to you because now they can't stop thinking about you. See, you're their star in the public eye. I feel like this person wants to heal this with you, but you're not paying attention to them. You're not focused on them. You're moving forward. I feel like you're, you're um, doing work for the divine here. In star energy, you're a healer, an empath, spiritual teacher, spiritual healer, a guide for others. I feel like you healed yourself from this person. Okay, and now they want to they they really want to reach out. They may come towards you here, just kind of testing the waters, right? Um, with beginning stage communication. This is them just reaching out to see if they can come forward um, and give you this cup of love. I feel like this is going to come out of the blue. You don't see this coming. See, you know, you're focused on other things. Um, you're focused on the things that are making you stronger. And that's, I feel like, the work you're doing for the divine. The help you're giving to other people, however you're doing it, okay? 
and you're out here being peaceful, just focused on you, and here comes this person. I also feel like you tamed this person's ego. You kind of brought them down to size because this emperor is showing up here as a page. Making an initial approach just to see if you'll talk. And I feel like you will. Uh, I feel like at least um, you're going to listen. You may want to hear this person out. So then they start coming forward or at least they want to. Praying things are going to go well. Um, there, this person's about to reach out to you. Whoever walked away from you in the past just kind of walked away. They could have treated you like an option here. They chose someone else over you. And if you had a glow up since then, extremely intuitive, very balanced, healed from the situation and focused on you, this person's coming forward. Um, I feel like they're being led. You know, the divine, all, look, all the divine can do is show them what they want for this person. This person has free will. They used it before in walking away from you, making a really crappy decision and all, but they still have free will, you know, and um, in their ego, it's like they feel it's unfair. They don't really, you know, in their ego, they're kind of upset here. They're angry. Um, because they don't, you know, they want to come in as an emperor, but they, like I said, I feel like you've tamed this person's ego to the point where they're coming in as a page. But, um, I feel like they, yeah, they're coming to talk and you're like, all right, fine. Because they're like, I really want to talk to you. I want to tell you how I feel. Can we talk? Yes, but, um, you remember everything that this person did to you in, in your past. In your past, they caused a huge storm. Like I said, everything that they did to you here, right? Um, and now you want the truth. They, they stuck this sword in your back before. They backstabbed you, betrayed you, walked away from you, all of it, right? And now you expect the truth from this person. So they're going to ask you if they can come in and talk. And you're going to be like, well, you're demanding the truth. You know, I feel like you really just want to listen. I don't, I don't see you doing a lot of talking. I see you listening while they tell you the situation. Okay. But, it, you know, they may try to come in right away with that cup of love being all kinds of emotional and lay it on thick, right? They may try to do this, but you want the truth. I feel like this is somebody who has betrayed you and stabbed you in the back with that sword. You don't want to be schmoozed. You don't want to be toyed with. Um, you don't, you know, you don't want people to love bomb you. You want them to give you the truth of why you were betrayed because you're moving forward I feel like in order for this connection to move forward together it requires absolute honesty okay I'm telling you this person's getting prepared to come forward first they're standing here in this little suit thinking about all that they lost thinking about how they invested their time energy money everything into something that really did not work out it's right here too it didn't work out now they want this new beginning they're thinking about this how they toss this new beginning in the dirt right yeah they tossed it in the dirt now they're like okay they're feeling kind of sorry for themselves they're feeling kind of broken all right now they're getting on they're getting on their horse here they get, they get themselves cleaned up. They realize who it is that they want, and they get ready to come towards you to get you to calmer waters. Okay? So you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be a cancer, Aquarius. Um, I've got Taurus out here. Your person could be an Aquarius as well. Taurus, Aries, I've got Libra, yeah, and it came out on its side. Is this person going to be able to balance the scales or not? I feel like the question is in this card here. 
coming to get you to calmer waters, right? That's what we all say out here, but I personally see this card a bit differently sometimes. Um, I'm seeing you being face planted in all of these swords. Um, that's being stuck and trapped in your mind, covered with a blanket, unable to have an opinion, while they have control of the boat. And this um, emperor out here is one that wants control. And they know what to say to get it. And I feel like um, maybe they're wondering, can I balance the scales? Can I come in proper enough to, yeah, because they're trying to approach an empress. You're an empress energy here. Empress, star, the world. Yeah, this person's nervous about approaching you. And I feel like um, you're definitely not going to be reaching out to them. So they don't know. Uh, I feel like that's part of it. Man. They, maybe they stood here and waited to hear from you. And you're not getting off your throne. The Empress doesn't chase after anybody. Um, they could have been waiting to hear from you to stay in control, to hang on, salvage their ego, right? Um, but you're not speaking. You're not chasing. Mm-mm. People need to approach you, and they need to approach you correctly. Apparently with the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So this person, they don't know. Um, they don't know if they can get this to calmer waters or not, is what I'm feeling like. They don't know because they, you haven't been talking to them. I feel like they waited to hear from you, and that didn't happen. Yeah, they've got this all kinds of screwed up, you know, but they're being they're being um, led in your direction. They're, this blessing is being literally shoved in this person's face. They can't stop seeing you because you're out in the public eye. Both of these are public eye cards, healing cards, leveling up cards. Okay, shining brilliantly, glow up cards. These are all glow up cards. So yeah, this blessing is being shoved in this person's face to teach them a lesson. But are they coming forward the right way? You know, and they're being told it's time now. Get moving. Get out of the hangman position. Get unstuck. You can see what's going on. They see it all right before their very eyes. Yeah, they're being shown this blessing. Make no mistake. And I feel like the divine is like, out with it. What are you going to do? It's time. Um, I'm also getting the feeling like um, they're, being, they're, they're being shown everything. Everything. I feel like this person is going to come forward, but they're going to try to schmooze you a little bit before they give you the truth. It's going to... Um, it's going to be an initial approach. Hey, can we talk? Sure. Well, you talk, I'll listen. Okay? But you better give me the truth. And they start it right off with love bombing. I, I feel like you're not having that. You're going to remind them that you need the truth. They need to do this now. And this person feels stuck because this is something I feel like they didn't really want to do. Um, and they know they stood here waiting for too long. Yeah, but I feel like they're all they're getting all up in their emotions here because they know they're in love with you. They know they're in love with you. I feel like this person may just like show up at your place out of the blue cuz they're really being they're this you're being shoved in their face. They're being taught a lesson and led towards you at the same time. Does that make sense? And they don't even know if they can fix this, but I feel like they may just show up at your door um, or give you a call, not really knowing how to communicate, you know, but um, they're, being, they're being pushed. Yeah, they're being pushed to take a leap of faith. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. <laughs> 
They are though. They're feeling like a fool. They didn't want to come in feeling like a fool. That's why they're coming in kind of like very emotional. Okay. Um, love bombing, telling you the greatest things that you want to hear, but you want to hear the truth. So th this person's scared, I feel. They, they, they don't know if this is going to work or not. They don't know if you'll take them back. They don't know if they can bring justice to this. They just don't know. But they're going to, I feel like they are coming forward. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to come towards you. And you are not going to be expecting it. And it's going to start out like this. Can we talk? Yeah. Anyway, get ready, collective, because this person is coming forward to try. They're being pushed to, okay? Um, anyway, this reading, I, I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this reading, please click that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. I love the support you give me. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, subscribe if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you, okay? Join the Soul Tribe. And until next time, collective, take care of you and peace out.